While heart disease is declining in men, it is steadily increasing in women. This is due in part to the lifestyle women are now living. Understanding the risk factors and the way to prevent heart disease is what Dr. Warren Johnston will explain in this segment. The women in heart disease really has been underappreciated. I think it's a public health problem. Uh, I think it's, I find it very interesting that uh, cardiovascular disease became the number one cause of death in women in 1908. Uh, ironically, that was the first year we, we celebrated Mother's Day. Uh, whereas cardiovascular disease in, in men has been declining somewhat, cardiovascular disease in women is actually increasing. And in 1985, more women died of heart disease than men. The public has not appreciated this problem. And I would dare say that women have not appreciated the problem either. If you poll women as to what they think is their most likely cause of death, uniformly they'll say it's cancer. And they'll obviously worry primarily about breast cancer, but certainly ovarian cancer as well. Some 54% of women think they'll get breast cancer. Uh, only 2% of women think they'll get cardiovascular disease. But again, the truth is, it is clearly the leading cause of death in women. One about, out of every five women has some form of cardiovascular disease. If you're a woman over the age of 65, you have one in three women have cardiovascular disease. And in the age group of women 25 to 44, I mean young women, uh, cardiovascular disease is the third leading cause of death. Um, it's unfortunate that cardiovascular disease increases, is, is increasing in women. Some of that may well be due to the fact that smoking is increasing in women. And even more troubling, uh, while the incidence of smoking has decreased in general uh, over the population, there's one group that smoking has increased in, and that is teenage women. So it does not bode well for the future. Women tend to be uh, actually more obese than men. Men are usually more overweight, but uh, the incidence of obesity is higher uh, in women. Uh, obesity is, is linked to the in increasing uh, incidence and in epidemic, if you will, of diabetes. Women need to know as well that uh, the symptoms that women often present with uh, are different than men. Often they have much more subtle signs and symptoms. They may not have chest pain when they present with angina or a, or a heart attack. Uh, they may just have nausea, indigestion, feel weak, be short of breath. Uh, if they have chest discomfort, it may be really pretty minor. Uh, and that's, that's a, a typical presentation, much more common in women. And as a result, and women have often been turned away from the emergency room saying, no, you, you can't have heart disease, you're a woman, you know, you're too young. Um, those symptoms just don't sound like heart disease. And as a result, women actually um, have less non-invasive testing for the presence of cardiovascular disease than men. And actually, I think embarrassingly so for medical profession perhaps, uh, women who have positive stress tests are much less likely to, be, to have heart catheterization, uh, coronary angiography, to have bypass grafting procedures, to have uh, uh, angioplasty done. Uh, also, I think distressing for women is that when women present uh, with heart disease, their outcomes are, are, are poorer than men. That is to say, they often, um, more women die uh, of cardiovascular disease after presentation. Uh, in fact, 38% uh, of women will uh, die after, within a year after having a heart attack, as opposed to only 25% of men dying in the first year. 63% uh, of the time, women were completely asymptomatic prior to having an event. Uh, here at St. Joseph Hospital, uh, we've opened a women's heart center. Uh, we actually opened it in December of the year 2002. Uh, and our, our task really is to uh, go out into the community and educate women as to their risk, identify women through screening of blood pressure, sugar, cholesterol, what have you, who may be at risk for this disease. In some cases, uh, do non-invasive testing and, uh, and just, just discover uh, occult, non-diagnosed heart disease and then, of course, treat it appropriately. So this is a, 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 a center that um, <clears throat> we have established as being a very important uh, part of our hospital and I think in, I think in uh, consonance with our mission uh, here at the hospital to go out to the community and, and really uh, see if we can strive to uh, have a healthy community. Preventing heart disease requires lifestyle changes. Dieting, exercising, and not smoking are the best life-saving options to prevent heart disease. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor. Thank <laughs> you.